um, beyond tangy tangerine, and then you also get your osteomag. Uh, and then if you want to do a couple other things, try some lecithin granules with your meals. That'll help you process fats a little bit, and then you might want to toss in some apple cider vinegar as well. Uh, let's see if there's anything else I want to tell you. Uh, hopefully your blood sugar, you're, 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 keeping, your, you're keeping your blood sugar stable. Uh, when your blood sugar goes up, your immune system goes down. So keeping your blood sugar stable by eating more protein can be helpful. Whey protein in particular can help you with the immune system. It's got lots of great strategies there. Anything else you want to talk about, Josh? No, sir. Thanks so much. All right, buddy. God bless. Good luck, man. All right, Pam in California, thanks for holding for so long. What's going on? Hi, I have two moles that are of concern to me. Okay. Uh, are they, they are irregularly shaped. Are they changing also, at all? Uh, not that's much, what, no. Okay, that's but what you're looking seem, for. They keep your eyes okay. on them. Where are they, by the way? Where in your body? One is on my back, kind of just below the, the bra strap area. And the other is um, in, I, I, I want to call this my... Um, Oh, gosh. Um, I can't say it suddenly. <laughs> the, the bones in, in, front of, in the front of your neck. Um, Bone you know, in front of your neck. Oh, I, can't, I know what you're talking about here. I, I kind of feel it. All right. I, guess, I well, get what you're talking about. It's on the side of your neck. Okay. But it's on the outside. Your shoulder. But it's where the sun hits. Is that what you're talking about? Like where you would get sun? Um, yeah, I guess if you, if you have on a, a T-shirt or something like that. It's okay. also near where my bra strap comes over my shoulder. Okay, here's the deal with moles, all right? Moles are a concentration of, of pigment-making cells, melanocytes. They're not a problem necessarily. Most people have them, or a lot of people have them, I should say. Um, but what you want to look for is what dermatologists call ABCDE rule. The a, have you heard of this, the ABCDE rule? rule? No. Okay, A for asymmetry. That means that's when the, the sides of the mole don't look the same. They're asymmetrical. Okay. Okay, yeah. B is when the border is jagged. On the on the mole, it's not a perfect circle. It's kind of kind of jagged, uh, a, a jagged. It's irregular, border irregularity. They call it. Uh, C is the color. The color uh, you want the color to be dark. If the color is has different shades of dark, like purpley and then dark black and then lighter dark black, that's a problem. And then the diameter, D for diameter, and E for evolving shape. These are the things that you're looking for. If the symmetry changes, if it becomes irregular, if the color becomes non uniform, if it gets bigger, um, or if it evolves in any kind of way, that's when you're going to have a problem. And that's what you got to be careful of. The mole itself is not necessarily a sign that you need to do anything, but if you have a sudden mole that all of a sudden appears, or if you have a, ch a mole that's constantly changing, that's a suspicious mole that you want to have t it looked at or extracted. Okay? I see. Okay. So now let me tell you a couple more things real quickly, and, I'll, and then we'll move on. Uh, you want to treat yourself the same way you would treat yourself if you had any health issue. Now, I'm not saying you have one, but you want to just do treat yourself like you have one. That means work on your digestive system. That means stabilize your blood sugar. That means relax your body. I forgot to tell this to Josh. The third point on our triangle is stress and burden. So relaxing the body is extremely important if you want to protect yourself from cancer. And that's what we're talking about here. We don't want that mold to turn into a melanoma. So what you got to do is work on the digestive system to keep the burden, uh, keep the body from being burdened, stabilize the blood sugar. Sugar will suppress the immune system and your body's ability to fight cancer. And then your body heals fights cancer and other diseases when it's relaxed. So make sure you're practicing your deep breathing techniques and using all the relaxation strategies you can think of. Okay? Okay. I think so that I fast on Tuesdays as I am today. Awesome. Did, uh, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine on Tuesdays, you know, pretty much only, or Good. water. Do you, have any um, other, do you have any health challenges? Anything else going on? No, not really. Well, that's not a that's not a no. That's a not really. That's different. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm I don't have you know I don't have high blood pressure. I don't have. Well, I'm not saying this to to pick on you, Pam. I'm not saying this to pick no, on you. I'm saying fine. this, but I'm saying this is you want to find them. You want to look for health challenges, right. and that way you can you can kind of um, pick the rotting leaves off the tree, if if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, you want to look. Only, yeah. Go ahead. The only thing that I have periodic issues with is the constipation, so I make sure that I'm drinking water, um, I make sure that I'm uh, getting, I take the uh, essential fatty acids, which Fiber. Kind of help my brain in thinking. Do the flax uh, seeds. I try to eat, yeah. I Grind up flax seeds. In the morning. 
Okay. That's one of the best treatments for constipation or to keep yourself regular is grinding up flax seeds, putting it in water, and just drinking it. If you like a little, if you want to make the a little more palatable, use uh, I find it delicious flax seed and water. But if you want to make it even more delicious, put some coconut milk in there. Coconut milk, flax seeds, and water, super delicious, great for keeping yourself regular. It'll cost you like pennies to do a cup of uh, flax seed and coconut water. That's a great, Any great way to keep yourself. Any color of the flax seed? Like golden flax seeds. Golden. golden. Always go golden. More nutrition in the golden. All right. I got to move on. Thank you, Pam. God All bless. Right, thank you. Okay. Bye. Take care. Okay. We got another Pam in California. What's going on, Pam? Pam, too? I'm, I'm, I'm Pam in California. And I, okay. And, I, What's, and when I heard the other woman come on, I thought... Oh, you started talking, right? I started talking. Yeah. <laughs> it's very odd that two Pams from California. But anyway, let me hurry, hurry really quick. Okay. I don't have a health issue. But what I wanted to call was make a recommendation for a guest. Okay. I, I, and you may know about him. I heard him on uh, public TV here in, in California. And uh, his name is Dr. Mitchell Yass, Y-A-S-S. Okay. He is a, um, he's got a doctorate in physical therapy. He's been doing this for 20 years. Okay. He has worked on f- over 14,000 people and has found that 90% of the people, you know, who, who have surgery for, for uh, back problems, hip problems, joint problems, knee problems, have been misdiagnosed. That usually okay. if something shows up on an MRI, you know, such as a little tear or arthritis or whatever, he said they're right away rushed into surgery, and he said most of the time, all of this is muscular imbalance. Um, and he has a do-it-yourself home program. I got his videos. I got his book. He's got several books. What's the name? Okay. What are some of his books? Well, Cure... Oh, he's the tapping guy. Is he the tapping guy? No. No. Uh-uh. No? He, okay. he has... An, his one is that muscle strength is not always the most important. It's muscular balance. For example, oh, as, he's right. if, your, if your quads are stronger than your yes, hamstrings, that's not good. you're going to get knee problems. That's exactly right. I, I experienced that myself. I was working out my quads big time yeah. when I was a kid, and I ended up with some serious... You're absolutely right. So Mitchell Yass, Y-A-A-S. Y- Y-A-S-S. Oh, Y-A-S-S. And, okay. Um, he, 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 uh, he's absolutely amazing. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'll look into that. that I, I love that idea Oh yeah. about muscle balance. Do it yourself. He says you don't need to go to all these doctors. I love it. I love it. He sounds like he sounds like he's perfect for the bright side. You don't need doctors. Thank you so much for your call. Appreciate it. Pam in California, and I apologize if we left John Holden. And, and Pam is right, and Mitchell Yass is right, and anybody who says we don't need doctors is right. If you have an emergency, that's one thing. But to be medicalized for lifestyle, diseases of civilization, how we eat, how we breathe, how we relax, blood sugar issues, it doesn't work. And the proof of the fact that it doesn't work is we got all these these doctors and we're sicker than we ever were before. It's simple. Health is simple because the body is a divinely mandated healing system. Thanks for listening, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have yourselves a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Experts.